Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I share tips and tricks on how to file taxes online. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to file taxes online, a step-by-step -step guide. Filing taxes online is a convenient, fast and secure way to submit your tax return to the government and get your refund or pay your dues. But how do you file taxes online? What are the steps and the tools that you need to follow and use to file taxes online? In this video, I will share with you the basics of how to file taxes online, a step-by-step -step guide. So, without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Gather your documents. The first step to filing taxes online is to gather your documents. You need to have all the documents that show your income, expenses, deductions and credits for the tax year, such as Form 16, which is a certificate that shows your salary income and tax deducted by your employer. Form 26AS, which is a statement that shows your tax credit and tax deducted by other sources, such as banks, financial institutions or clients. Form 10BA, which is a declaration that shows your rent paid and your house rent allowance if you are claiming it. Form ADC, which is a statement that shows your investments and expenses that are eligible for tax deduction, such as life insurance, provident fund, tuition fees, or home loan principal. Form ATD, which is a statement that shows your medical insurance premium that is eligible for tax deduction for yourself, your spouse, your children, or your parents. Form ADG, which is a statement that shows your donations that are eligible for tax deduction to certain charitable organizations or funds. Form 80 TTA, which is a statement that shows your interest income from savings accounts that is eligible for tax deduction up to a limit of 10,000 rupees. Form 80 TTP, which is a statement that shows your interest income from deposits that is eligible for tax deduction up to a limit of 50,000 rupees if you are a senior citizen. Form 80 E, which is a statement that shows your interest paid on education loan that is eligible for tax deduction for yourself, your spouse, or your children. Form 80 EE, which is a statement that shows your interest paid on home loan that is eligible for tax deduction up to a limit of 50,000 rupees if you are a first time home buyer. Form 80 EEA, which is a statement that shows your interest paid on home loan that is eligible for tax deduction up to a limit of 1.5 lakh rupees if you are a first time home buyer of an affordable house. Form 80 EEB, which is a statement that shows your interest paid on loan taken for electric vehicle that is eligible for tax deduction up to a limit of 1.5 lakh rupees. Form 80 GGA, which is a statement that shows your donations for scientific research or rural development that are eligible for tax deduction if you do not have any income from business or profession. Form 80 GGC, which is a statement that shows your donations to political parties or electoral trusts that are eligible for tax deduction if you are not a company. Form 80 RRB, which is a statement that shows your income from patents that is eligible for tax deduction up to a limit of 3 lakh rupees. Form 80U, which is a certificate that shows your disability and the amount of tax deduction that you are eligible for if you are a person with disability. You can get these documents from your employer, your bank, your financial institution, your lender, your insurer, your service provider, or your tax consultant. You can also download these documents from the Income Tax website, the Traces website, or the NSDL website. Step 2. Choose your method. The second step to filing taxes online is to choose your method. You can file taxes online by using one of the two methods, namely e-filing, which is a method that allows you to file your tax return online by using the Income Tax website, the Income Tax app, or the income tax software. You can e-file your tax return by yourself or by using the services of a tax professional such as a chartered accountant, a tax preparer, or a tax advisor. You can e-file your tax return by using one of the two modes, namely ITR1, which is a mode that allows you to file your tax return online by using the income tax website or the income tax app and by filling the online form with your details and information. You can use this mode if you are an individual resident and if your income is from salary, pension, one house property, other sources, or agriculture, up to 5,000 rupees. ITR2, which is a mode that allows you to file your tax return online by using the income tax website or the income tax app and by uploading the XML file with your details and information. You can use this mode if you are an individual or a Hindu undivided family and if your income is from salary, pension, more than one house property, capital gains, foreign assets or other sources. Paper filing, which is a method that allows you to file your tax return offline by using the income tax forms, the income tax challenge and the income tax offices. You can paper file your tax return by yourself or by using the services of a tax professional such as a chartered accountant, a tax preparer or a tax advisor. 
you can paper file your tax return by using one of the two modes, namely ITRV, which is a mode that allows you to file your tax return offline by using the income tax forms and by sending the signed acknowledgement to the centralized processing center in Bengaluru within 120 days of e-filing. You can use this mode if you are an individual resident and if your income is from salary, pension, one house property, other sources or agriculture up to 5,000 rupees and if your total income is up to 50 lakh rupees and if you do not have any refund or carry forward loss. ITR3 which is a mode that allows you to file your tax return offline by using the income tax forms and by submitting the signed return to the income tax office within the due date of filing. You can use this mode if you are an individual or a Hindu undivided family. And if your income is from business or profession, or if you are a partner in a firm, you can choose your method based on your convenience, preference and eligibility. You can also change your method if you want to by revising your tax return within the time limit of filing. Step 3. Fill your details. The third step to filing taxes online is to fill your details. You need to fill your details that are required for filing your tax return, such as personal details, such as your name, your address, your date of birth, your gender, your PAN, your Aadhaar, your mobile number, and your email ID. Income details, such as your salary income, your house property income, your capital gains income, your business or profession income, your other sources income, and your exempt income. Deduction details, such as your investments under Section ADC, your medical insurance under Section ADD, your donations under Section ADG, your interest on home loan under Section ADE, and your disability under Section ADU. Tax details, such as your tax deducted at source, your tax collected at source, your advance tax, your self-assessment tax, and your foreign tax. Verification details, such as your bank account number, your IFSC code, your refund mode, and your declaration. You can fill your details by using the online form, the XML file, or the income tax forms, depending on your method and mode of filing. You can also fill your details by using the pre-filled data, the auto-calculation feature, or the help and guidance provided by the income tax website, the income tax app, or the income tax software. You can fill your details by using the online form, the XML file, or the income tax forms, depending on your method and mode of filing. You can also fill your details by using the pre-filled data, the auto-calculation feature, or the help and guidance provided by the income tax website, the income tax app, or the income tax software. Step 4. Submit your return. You need to submit your return to the income tax department and get your acknowledgement, which is a proof of your filing. You can submit your return by using one of the two methods, namely e-verification, which is a method that allows you to verify your return online by using the income tax website, the income tax app, or the income tax software. You can e-verify your return by using one of the six options, namely Aadhaar OTP, which is a one-time password that you receive on your registered mobile number after you link your Aadhaar with your PAN and after you generate the OTP on the income tax website or the income tax app, net banking, which is a service that allows you to access your bank account online after you log into your bank's website, and after you select the e-verify option on the income tax website or the income tax app. Bank account, which is a facility that allows you to verify your return by using your bank account number and IFSC code after you pre-validate your bank account on the income tax website or the income tax app. DMAT account, which is a facility that allows you to verify your return by using your DMAT account number and email ID after you pre-validate your DMAT account on the income tax website or the income tax app. Bank ATM, which is a facility that allows you to verify your return by using your bank ATM card after you swipe your card at your bank's ATM and after you select the e-verify option on the ATM screen. EVC which is an electronic verification code that you receive on your registered mobile number or email ID after you generate the EVC on the income tax website or the income tax app. Physical verification, which is a method that allows you to verify your return offline by using the income tax forms and by sending the signed acknowledgement to the centralized processing center in Bengaluru within 120 days of e-filing. You can use this method if you are not able to e-verify your return or if you prefer to verify your return manually. Step 5. Check your status. You need to check your status to know the progress and the outcome of your filing. You can check your status by using the income tax website, the income tax app, or the income tax software. You can check your status by using one of the two options, namely ITR status, which is an option that shows you whether your return has been received, verified, processed, or completed by the income tax department. You can check your ITR status by using your PAN and acknowledgement number, or by using your login credentials. Refund status, which is an option that shows you whether your refund has been issued, adjusted, or rejected by the income tax department. 
you can check your refund status by using your PAN and assessment year or by using your login credentials. Step 6. Revise your return. You need to revise your return if you find any errors, omissions, or discrepancies in your return, or if you receive any notice or communication from the income tax department. You can revise your return by using the income tax website, the income tax app, or the income tax software. You can revise your return by using the same method and mode that you used for filing your original return, and by selecting the option Revised Return under the Filing Status section. You can revise your return as many times as you want, but only within the time limit of filing, which is usually the end of the assessment year or the completion of the assessment, whichever is earlier. So these are the next three steps to file taxes online. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on filing taxes online and if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.